I pulled up to the police roadblock prepared to do some fancy talking, but the car did that talking for me. Somewhere up the hill, on the grounds of a sprawling LA estate, Lamborghini was having a party. Parking was so limited that the guests had to ride a shuttle bus from a remote lot. But when you roll up to a Lamborghini party in a 1988 Contach 5000 Quattro Velvo, the gatekeepers demand no supplication. At least, not from us. But I felt compelled to explain the second half of our convoy. Could you let the guy on the Vespa follow us? I asked. This is his car. You'd think that if you owned a 5000, you wouldn't miss an opportunity to show off, because Contach is Italian for feast your eyes on this, ladies. Its rear wing was the cocaine buffet table during the shoot for David Lee Roth's Just a Gigolo video. With the roof line at 42 inches, the Contach is about as tall as a 5-year-old but demands more attention. It's not just an ego car. It's the definitive ego car. And yet my friend David, the Lambo's owner, had little interest in making a splashy entrance. You drive, he said. I'll follow on the Vespa and just throw it in the bushes when we get there. Apparently David doesn't harbor a craven need for attention, but I certainly do, so by the time he was halfway through his sentence I was sitting in the Contach, shoes off, cranking the 80s mix cassette that's on permanent loop in the vintage Alpine. I didn't remove my shoes out of politeness, by the way. I did it because the Contach's three pedals are evenly spaced one Higgs bows and apart. Trying to downshift is like playing footsie with the manatee. Since the shotgun seat was empty, David invited his friend Townsend Bell, an Indy car driver. And so we set off, just a couple of equally talented drivers in a red Contach followed by a guy on a Vespa. The nice thing about driving a Contach at night is that the outward visibility doesn't change much. Darkness or a B pillar, what's the difference? The tough thing about driving this particular Contach is that the clutch was on the way out. David figured it would get us to the party, but even a mildly feisty jab of the throttle would send the V12 revving far out of proportion to the increase in road speed. Now I know what it would have been like if they had built the Contach with the CVT.